tell us what is the quantum of devastation here well uh, if you say it uh, in uh, terms of individuals it's in millions and uh, 110 millions of uh, this land has also been destroyed uh, this is the only destruction part i'm talking about now as long as uh, this destruction how it was caused it uh, started off with the first spell of the rain that was uh, 11th or 12th of the last month subsequently the rain increased its spell and the last spell which was lasting for about 36 hours that is the major cause of this destruction because at that point in time all the drainages or the water flow areas they were all filled in and that's why uh, all the arteries especially the lbod in my area of responsibility it uh, over flooded and because of that all uh, the area which is on the eastern and western bank of this same artery or the canal uh, that has destroyed completely what kind of challenges other than evacuations are you people are facing here well the first of all uh, as the rain was mounting we were following we were monitoring and uh, thereafter uh, we carried out the rescue operation because that was the first and the foremost things in our standing operating procedure now later on we uh, provided them during the rescue we provided the medical support uh, to almost 75000 as of today and uh, once the rescue operation is over now we have gone towards the relief and that too in a massive way uh, not only that we are uh, establishing a tent city uh, for about five to six thousand individuals but at the same very time we are giving a relief where the road head is available to us we are transporting them in terms of eatables at those places and uh, then we are where those places they are not accessible to us we are dropping them through heli so that is how the rescue work is available with us, uh, rescue and relief. Uh, now talking the challenges, well the challenges is uh, in this area first of all is uh, for another about 15-20 days we have to pay a lot of attention as long as medical aspect is concerned. Uh, there is a fear probably of academic, epidemic and uh, then uh, in that skin diseases and uh, then uh, waterborne diseases they are very very important to be looked after in a due course of time. Okay, what about the other institutions of the government uh, or, or the other arms of the government like the National Disaster Management Authority and other institutions? What about their response? Well, absolutely, they must be working at their own end. I am a representative of the Pakistan Army. But I'm just talking about their collaboration or their shaking hand with you um, going shoulder to shoulder. Is this the case? Well, uh, they have got a sec uh, different uh, style of working. So they must be working at their own end. Six style, they may six be style of working. no, no. They have got their uh, own, uh, you know, pace of working. They have got their own methodology to work about it. So this question is directly related, basically, to them. As long as we, the hockey wearers, are concerned, our mandate now is since almost uh, rescue is at the terminating stage. So we are looking after the relief and in a massive way. That's what I explained to you. That first of all, we are establishing uh, the the tent cities uh, in various parts of the synth. In my area, it's over five to 6,000 individuals. We are going to house them. We are going to provide them with all the basic necessity which they can dream of. And uh, then, of course, is the heli drop uh, and where the roadheads are available. We are uh, providing them the relief in terms of uh, transportation also and relief goods also. Tell me about, the, about uh, in terms of area, in terms of numbers, in terms of mathematics, uh, uh, what area have uh, I mean has been devastated due to the torrential? Rain? Now, if I tell you, in my area of responsibility, there are four districts, and uh, in terms of priority, as long as destruction has cost, it starts off from Badin, then to Tando Mohammad Khan, uh, then of course Mithi at Tharparkar, and uh, Thatta is the least damaged district in my area. It will be difficult for me to go into a mathematic and a calculation because at this point in time, water is everywhere, as we see. So once the water is going to go off from this place, it's going to take its natural course, uh, roadheads will be available to us, then probably uh, we will also be uh, measuring them in terms of how much land has been destroyed, how much resources has been destroyed, how much individual exactly has been affected. At this point of time, it's just an approximation which is being told to everyone. Thank you very much. Respect. You're welcome. You're welcome.